What's going on guys? Welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in for part two of my experience working at GameStop. I'm getting a lot of views. Um, I didn't get the likes I wanted to, but the views is up there. It's not like super up there, but it's up there good enough for me. So we're doing part two. And this time we're going to get into uh, stories with customers, things I enjoy doing as an SGA, and stuff like that. So stay tuned to the video and find out. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in again. And uh, I want to start off by saying thank you for everyone who subscribed. I'm up to 40 to 41 subscribers now. Thank you everyone who did. Thank you everyone for who watched my videos. Thank you everyone who liked my videos. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out a lot. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Now, let's get to it. I want to probably start off with a few pictures I kind of enjoyed at GameStop. And I'm going to pull up a picture and then I'll explain what's going on. And then, or, you know, whatever. We'll just, we'll go with the flow. You guys are here to hear my experience, so let's go. So the first picture I'm going to do is this one here, which is, this is after I left, and my buddy sent me these pictures. This is for our Metal Gear uh, 5 Phantom, uh, what was it, Phantom, Phantom something, I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, Metal Gear 5, uh, we had a couple cosplayers come up to the store. And it was pretty cool, man. I, I'm just sad that I missed it. My buddy did send it to me, though. Um, because technically, I still did work there. Because I was still under the, still under the employment thing. Because everything didn't transfer over yet. But I, it was really nice to see people come in dressed up for their release. And that's, that's awesome, man. I, I love... We have dedicated fans come in. And then this is probably the first time we actually had... Um, Someone coming into the store and do a, like a full cosplay, and it was great. You know, someone being Solid Snake and the Ocelot and stuff like that it was pretty, pretty awesome. Now, the next pictures I'm going to show you, which, uh, which was, I I did this thing here, which, um, it came into pieces. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm keep starting everything because I like I really got to think about this stuff. Sorry, I don't have anything written down. I'm going off by memory, so please bear with me. But this um, Final Fantasy poster thing, we came in all pieces. So this thing we put together on our own, and it really didn't come with that good of instructions, but we figured it out, and it came out pretty nice, as you can see. And it was fun. It, it, like, it, like I said, it came into pieces, and I got nervous at first. Because um, when you're an SGA, like I said, you're a third string manager. Now let me move this mic down a little bit. You're a third string manager and you have to put up the marketing stuff. So me and my other buddy John, which of course my name is John too. So me and him and he was uh, he was a new hire. And I kinda put in a word for him to get in there because he was always up at the store. He he was seeing like he really didn't need a job. He was in college. He was a nice kid. Uh, I took him under my wing sort of, trained him a little bit here and there. Told him the rights and wrongs, uh, stuff like that. But anyway, we I took this thing out the box and I, hey man, you wanted to help me with this? He was like, yeah, sure. So we took this thing out, got it together. I mean, it took us um, maybe like a half an hour, but like this was a, a down day. Like I said, we had our down times, which days we didn't really get customers. So we had stuff like this to do. And he helped me put it together, and it came out really nice, and I really enjoyed it. I really wanted to keep it, because they didn't really care about us keeping the stuff like that. A lot of GameStop still don't, as long as you give my uh, heads up sometimes. I don't, I don't know if they still do it now. Maybe they do. If you try to go to your GameStop and find out if, you got, if they got like a big uh, poster thing or some kind of marketing thing that you, you might be interested in, then just ask them and see... Uh, if you can have it once once they're done with it. Because a lot of times stuff just goes right in the trash. Once we're done with it, we just throw it right out. So a lot of times, a lot of people come in. Hey, uh, can I get that? And we'll just take a stick and it'll put their name on it. And so first come, first third, pretty much. If you can reach them before uh, the person, whoever gets it, get their sticky note on it. And then, you know, it's yours. Another thing I like to do was like another marketing thing was these two pictures here. Was the Batman 
uh, Arkham Arkham Knight, I believe, and the Mortal Kombat 10. Mortal Kombat 10. And I enjoy doing that because they came um, in like a thick binder thing, and we had to go through. Um, we had to go buy this book and put it in direct order and some kind of picture. And I really enjoyed that because it's it's like a puzzle, and it was really nice and dope. And I, I really enjoyed it because once you get done, you got to finish product. It's almost like doing Legos or if you're doing like an actual puzzle. And sometimes the picture wasn't what they it looked like in a book, so it was kind of fun and a kind of a mystery. So I just couldn't wait and put it together. And I it really like I said, it really killed a lot of time. Something else to do on our downtime, and I really enjoyed it. And plus, we had to do it. We had a certain time. We had to put this marketing and stuff up, which I really didn't mind because I normally did it like right away anyway. And the Mortal Kombat one was was cool too. I really couldn't wait till that got done. And that's why I, I snapped these pictures because I, I really enjoyed it. It was tough I did by myself. It didn't really take long at all. Once you got the hang of it, it just pretty much fell into place. Speaking of Mortal Kombat. We had a Mortal Kombat 10 tournament, and I'm gonna post some pictures here. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We had uh, I participated in the tournament. Unfortunately, uh, I lost. I got my butt kicked. I did not uh, win at all. I thought, I thought maybe I can go in and at least get past the first round, but we couldn't. We couldn't play Mortal Kombat um, 10 because, like I said, it was a midnight release, and we couldn't play it yet so we um not, no actually yeah we did we did play Mortal Kombat 10 sorry we played Mortal Kombat 10 and it was a lot of time it was a lot of people's first time playing it so no one got a time to practice or anything and I thought you know okay I'll go in since no one really practiced I should be able to get past at least the first round and I I, I got my butt kicked man I, I couldn't even make it past the first round it was it was pretty bad it was fun I had a lot of fun doing it and I uh, Sorry, I got to jump back. Going back to the Batman no, Arc of Night. We had a midnight release for that, too. Uh, we had, like, a big, huge midnight release party. There's some pictures here of me with my Batman mask on and a group of guys that we uh, took. We had a... And it's that little thing there that we're all around. It's... Um, you guys probably seen it in GameStop when you go in there. It is... It's like a mini TV, you can hook your a game system up to. We didn't have any TVs at the time to hook the games to, so we plugged that in, and we just had the games in there, and then we just played. You no, know, on this little screen, we was playing um, Injustice. Yeah, we was playing Injustice, because of course, you know, they, they couldn't just they didn't really have like a versus game for Arkham Knight, so Injustice was the next best thing, and we had a little tournament for that too. And the winners for these tournaments, either um, they either got the game. Of the you know the game that came out or a game of their choice, so that was pretty fun, pretty interesting. I really enjoyed that as well. Then, like I said, here's some pictures here of me on you know, my Batman mask because we all had to wear Batman mask. And of course, you see like me with um, the plastic, with the plastic one. You see some people with carbon ones. And we had we had a great time. It was a great time. And uh, let's see what what other picture we got here. Here's a picture of me uh, with a Splatoon squid on my head, which it was funny looking. I, I it was kind of one of those moments. I was like, um, like don't take a picture of me, and then like my cousin got me anyway. But it was for promotion, so we we kind of had to do it, and we kind of didn't want to do it. But I, I wanted to do it because, like I said, it was promotion. We got them for free. They sent them to us to actually wear, so I did it, and yeah, it looked goofy, it looked like I had uh, like blue dreadlocks, but it was fun. I really had a lot of fun. Like, as you guys can see, I, I don't see why a lot of YouTubers like painting GameStop as this horrible place to work. Not all GameStop are like that, as you can see. Like, we had a lot of fun, man, and we really had a good time. And I really don't see why everyone just want to bash it and make it seem. It's just like the worst place in the world to work. I worked at some bad places, man, and it, this place was was flower petals compared to a lot of places I worked. This was nothing. And now uh, let's go. Let's go to a couple stories. I really wanted to keep this under ten minutes, but now I gotta go to the stories. But they're not going to be. So if you're still here, 
thank you. And you're probably uh, are here if you did want to hear the, the two stories I had with some customers. All right, starting with the first one was, um, like I said, my last video with the lady cussing, cussing me out and stuff <laughs> because I asked for ID. Well, it technically wasn't for her. Her son, um, her son comes in the store. He always comes in all the time, and he knows uh, what games to buy because he was he was underage. So he knows what well, he knows his limits of what games to buy, uh, what games need IDs for, and stuff like that. So he will always pick out when he come by himself, and his mom will be or whoever will drop him off will be out in the parking lot waiting for him. So he'll come pick a game that he know he don't need an ID for, and come to the counter, pay for, it, and then be done. Now, uh, this day, uh, I can't. I don't remember what game it was. I'm sorry, my memory is not that good all the way. So, I don't remember what game it was. I know it was a radium game, and he know like he needed an ID for uh, for the game because we have to ID everyone who gets a radium game because if not, their policy they're very strict on uh, their policy with radium games because if you don't, it can get to the point where we can get arrested for uh, pretty much. It was almost as bad as like selling alcohol or cigarettes to a minor, and they, they took that very seriously. So we had to ID everyone, and no matter what age you looked or whatever, we, we had to get your ID just to make sure. Because like I said, uh, even if, like say we did sell it to the kid, then he uh, gets home, then his parents come in and don't approve of it, then come back to the store and sue me, and then I can get in trouble, go to court, and stuff like that. It, it's a real big thing. We had it was actually like in our um, employee uh, contract thing. It, it's a big deal. So if you guys ever look get you know, get a job there, uh, really, you know, be on on edge on that because it, it's a really big deal and if you got questions about ax your supervisor manager whoever ask them because like at some st stores they're normally really really strict on that because i don't want anyone you guys to lose your job if you are working at gamestop now currently or about to i don't want you to lose your job for something stupid like that so anyway ask kid oh uh, yeah man yeah, like i say he comes in all the time so he knows us like hey, you, you know the deal man you know you need your id he was like yeah i know my mom's out there holding on me go get her so adult can't just say just say oh yeah they're good and then you take their word on it you actually have to see their id because anyone can just do it for anyone just like anyone can go in the store and uh buy alcohol and hand it to the kid when they get outside the store so we we we, we couldn't just do that anyway he goes out there let his mom know she needs her id his mom pops her head in the door and says he's good i was like no no i, I need i need you to come in i need your id I need to know to see your ID and I'll be the end of it. So this she comes in, gets to the counter. Why do you need to see my ID? I'm trying to explain to her. I'm not gonna go all the way into detail with this one because it'd be super long if I do. Um, like hey, I, I need your ID because I just need to make sure, you know, just see it. All I gotta do is glance at it and then you're good to go. Just to know on camera and they can see me that I can I check track, you know, check your ID. And she just threw a tantrum. It's like, well, what is he buying? Alcohol? Like, I was like, no, it's the like law, and it's GameStop's policy. I, I just need, you know, just an ID. Anyone 17 or under, I need to see, you know, ID for. And she was just throwing a tantrum, just flipping out. And my dude, who was the SGA at the time, and like you guys heard the first story, the one who moved to uh, Boston, um, he was just standing there look, watching the whole thing go down. And I was like, man, I just need she ID. And she was just losing it, like cussing me out, saying, you oh, know, this is ridiculous. I shouldn't have to do this and everything. Uh, uh, like, and this lady knows knows the the, the the deal. Like, she comes in all the time with her kid. And she sees us, you know, do it to other customers and stuff. It's not it's something new. And then she was like, oh, when they start that? It's like, oh, they've been doing it, like, forever, ever since I, even when I was, like, younger. Like, when I was, like, 16, 17, I wanted to buy, like, a Radium game. And he was like, he got ID, and at the time I didn't have any. Like, well, you can't get it. So at the time, I stuck to like just uh, T for Teen games. And once I got turned 17, I got my actual driver's license or ID. I bought radium games on my own. And she, anyway, more to the story. She like flipped shit to the point where my dude was like, yo, just just let her, just let her get it. Just 
so she can get out of here. Just, just let her, just let them go, man. Just forget about it, so they can get the hell out of the store. And I was like, okay, fine. So we ran up the game and everything, and she leaves and stuff like that. And we just talking about it and everything like this. This lady was just tripping for no reason. No reason at all. All I said to do is homie the ID and be done with it. And I know a lot of people have to deal with that issue, and it's not fun to deal with, but stay on your ground, man. It's the policy. You don't want to lose your job, especially if you really enjoy it. If you really love it, like don't don't risk that for anybody. Like do do what you got to do. And the funny thing is, later on, like about a month or so later, like um, after I became uh, SGA, like I said, as a third string manager. So after I became in the level of management, she came to the store again, and uh, her son came and got another Radium game, and she came in, and I was like, you know, you know, I need your ID, and she just gave me like a, the dirtiest look like ever, and just <laughs> showed me the ID, and it was done. But yeah, it was a win for me. I didn't care. Whatever. Now to the second story. Um, th I'm trying to think. This was around the time Elder Scrolls Online came out. And again, I was in a position of management, and I was the only one at the store at the time, I believe. I think it was like I just opened the store. Yeah, I just opened the store. Uh, Ten o'clock on the dot, just opened it. Elder Scrolls Online just launched. I think that day. It was that day or the day before. I can't remember. I know Elder Scrolls Elder Scrolls Online was like the big thing that just launched a day or, or so ago. So this guy comes in, and um, I'm like, "Hey, how you doing? How can I help you?" And he puts uh, Elder Scroll online. I can't remember what system it's for. And he he puts it on the counter and like, "Hey, I want to return this." I was like, "Okay, man, no problem. You know, you, you got a receipt." So I look at the receipt, and uh, I don't know if their policy changed. You can't take games that's brand new that's been open. You can't take them back as new and give a full refund because you can't resell them as new so what happened was um, he's like hey I just want my money back and stuff like that sorry like I said he just, he, I just want my money back and I was just looking at it I was like I, I can't give you money back man. I, I can you know, take it in that store credit and trade it in and you get like a less value for it but I can't just take it back and give you a full refund he was like, why not? And I was like, well, what's wrong with the game? Uh, is there anything wrong with it? He's like, it's broken. I was like, what you mean it's broken? So I, I took the game out, looked at it, uh, examined the disc and everything. There was no scratches, no cracks, no anything. It was like, it's a perfectly fine disc. What's going on with it? He's like, it won't let me online. The servers are down. <laughs> like, okay, that has nothing to do with the actual physical game. It's a day one launch or day two. Uh, the servers are going to be you no, know, not up there like that because a lot of people are playing it for one, so the servers are not going to be up there. And he was like, "Well, I want my money back because the game is broken." I was like, "No, it's not broken." It's just the servers are down. The servers know when they get to it, and they'll fix it, and you'll be able to play. And he was like, I, I know how the servers work. I, 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 I work at some computer company or some BS. I was like, well, if you know how servers work, then we shouldn't be having this conversation. And anyway, he got to the point where he wanted my, my district's uh, manager's number and everything. So he asked for the district's number, and I gave him the district's number. And um, so he leaves the store. And he calls the district. He calls the district and he talks to uh, my um, district manager, Dan. Dan gives me, gives me a call not to, uh, a little bit uh, later. And he was like, hey, what's going on? And I explained to him the whole situation. And he was like, well, you no, know, the guy, if he comes back, just give him a refund and give him a full refund and you no know, for store credit. Don't give him a full refund for cash or anything. He can take the full refund for store credit and that's it. I was like, okay, fine. I'll do that. Um, so anyway, he thought he was gonna get me in trouble because you no, know, what I said and it was the policy. I, I wasn't lying to him. I, I didn't. It's not like I didn't want to do it for him. I would have done it if it was a used game, but it wasn't. It was brand new. Just opened it. And I couldn't do anything like that. So 
he um he comes back unfortunately he comes back and pretty much says oh yeah i spoke to you just like i already know just come on man so um, i was like he told me i can give it to you store credit and he's like all right so he i take out the scores online and i give him the store credit this guy goes get um lego lego jurassic world i believe so this guy gave me all this grief and fighting and arguing with me so he can get Lego Jurassic World. If you guys don't know, I can't stand Lego games, but that's a, that's for a different thing. And this video is already long enough. Well, once I edit it down a little bit, it's still already long enough. Or going to be longer. But anyway... I'm gonna have to wrap it here because like I said, it's already long enough. I have a lot more stories to tell. Um, like I had uh, one time how this girl came in and ripped us off for um, two PS4 um, consoles. And she was going around ripping other stores off. I, I, can, I can tell you guys that story in the next video if you want me to. If you just show some love and support like you guys have been showing the uh, last video. You can do that. I'll definitely do a part three. I was really hoping to uh, get everything crammed into one, but fortunately, you know, with stories you can't. You know, and I hope you guys really appreciate the art, you know, the stories I'm, I'm giving you and the stories I'm telling you because I can't just, I don't want to just half-ass it. I don't want to just tell you part of it and leave like on a cliffhanger. I want to tell you the whole entire thing. Except for the, the one I was just talking about, how the lady ripped us off. But like I said, I'll see that for another video. If you guys really enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and share. Like like always. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. Uh, it's whatever. But I really appreciate if you do. It really helps me out. Um, it lets YouTube know that I'm not just you know just doing sitting here and doing nothing. So please well, show some love, support. Give me some likes. Uh, if I get up to enough likes or enough views like I would the other one, I would definitely do a part three if you guys want to see that. Um, let's talk in the chats, guys. If you already work at GameStop now or, you know, you want to work at GameStop, talk, man. Just hit me up in the chats if you guys want any kind of advice or um, anything to get your, your foot in the door or anything like that. Or you just want to let some steam out, you know, with some stuff that's going on already working there. And you just want to chat, you know, hit me up in the comments, guys. Um... Or you no, know, hit me up on Twitter. I, I don't mind you no know, talking to you guys. We can you no know, discuss it, whatever. No matter to me. I really enjoy you no know, talking about you know my my experience at GameStop. It was definitely one of my favorite jobs I ever worked in my life. So hit me up, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing if you did. And please join me on this journey to 100 subscribers. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I am out. Peace. And I heard him say, like Adam said, nothing's ever promised them all today. Gotta make a way, gotta seize the moment that you're in now. You can stay back and get in now, come win now. Why lose it all? Cause the rich and famous still lose it, dog. Like.